Hello everyone, and welcome to The Binding of Isaac. So, this is a series that I never thought I would be doing because I actually don't particularly like the very first Binding of Isaac. It's the only one that I've ever actually played, but it's... I don't know. Maybe I just haven't gotten far enough into the game. Um, but we're going to delete my save. Um, we're going to start completely new. Um, this, did, did this not, yes, how do I, what, this isn't working, delete, save, no, delete, save, yes, it does the same fucking thing. What if I go into un what if I unfull screen it? I wanted to do this on camera, but oh, what? This it can't not full screen. Oh my god! Fine, alt tab it. There you go. Delete save. Yes. Delete save. Yes. Delete save. Yes. Okay. Whatever. Oh, I hate everything. Okay, everyone. Um, I'm back. Um, <laughs> okay. I just needed to restart the game. So if you're deleting your save file, that's your problem. Is that it's uh, it deletes it, but you have to restart it. You have to restart the game. So let us start. Everything else is locked, so we are playing Isaac. Let's begin. So yeah, as I was saying before, I don't particularly oh god actually like the binding of Isaac at least the first one the game always looked cool but I think I was watching afterbirth or something uh, not afterbirth that's the one that rebirth because there are multiple binding of Isaac games if for some reason you do not you do not know that um but yeah I definitely know hang on a second I need to uh, unfull screen for a second because this music is probably overpowering my my. I already have it turned. <laughs> I've already have it turned down so far. All right, let's go with that. Hopefully, it, hopefully that works out well. I love the music in this game, at least for this first floor, but, uh, it does, it's definitely overpowering. Are you sure you want me to die? No, God, let me back in. There. So there's the boss room right off the bat. Let's just go into it. Might as well. Um, I actually don't remember what this guy is called. Um, it's not Gertie. I should have looked at it. But, anyway. Oh my God, that was so close. I have not... I don't know. I don't. Maybe I didn't get far enough into the game, like I said before. I just haven't liked this. I haven't had a good time with this game, especially because maybe it was because my computer couldn't run it properly uh, before. It seems to be running it pr pretty well now, even on fuck, damn it, even on high uh, high graphics. At least I think it's on high graphics. I'm not sure. I put it on the highest resolution because it's showing up weird on my recorder, so I'm probably going to have to fix that um, in post-production, or at least uh, editing. Um, I'll probably have to resize it. And I have to get my click my cursor off the screen. There you go. You're welcome, everyone. And no deal with the devil because I got hit, but I have a metric ass ton of food. I mean, uh, hearts and I picked up dog food or just food um, and got an HP up which is really nice um, I'm probably not gonna be the greatest guy to commentate over this because the runs might be so samey um, guys like Northern Lion make it look easy am I right but he makes interesting commentary probably because of his vocabulary his vocabulary is definitely part of it but he was an English teacher so that's not fair I'm still a high school student and granted, I have probably an expanded vocabulary compared to most high school students, but that uh, d 
doesn't change that I don't know a lot of big words and funny words. I can make funny haha poo poo jokes because there's poop all over the ground here, which you break open and try and get stuff out of, which is actually something that happens if you don't know. Oh, there's, an item, there's a free item room right here. I forgot about that. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Um, magic mushroom, all stats up. Okay, that's actually good. I, I am big. Um, that's not really good, to be perfectly honest. Um, sure, I'm fast, but um, I can be hit way easy. Oh my god, that's scary. I really wish I didn't get that, actually. But I'll deal with it. I probably would get it anyway, because it's an all stats up, so... I guess there has to be a downside to it, right? I mean, that's not necessarily true. This game doesn't have to have... These items doesn't have to have a downside, really. Sloth is one of those guys that I really am not good with. Especially with these silkworms, or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're actually called, but I remember the hearing someone say it call them that. Probably Northern Lion, because that's the only guy that I've watched play the Binding of Isaac, I think. Yeah, be prepared for me to mention Northern Lion a lot, because uh, he's the only guy that I've watched play this game, really. Got a tarot card. I, the Magician. I actually know what this one does, I think. Um, um, I think it gives you... Um, an effect called are you a wizard um let me check it oh no it does not that's completely off okay um I think I forgot what those are called yeah I don't remember what the uh, what those types of tears are called but um there's definitely not what I thought of what I thought it was let's go down okay so yeah, these that all stats up was definitely a big help so far. These guys are really annoying. Oh shit! Really hate those guys. They're really they're, it's they're hard. They're kind of hard to fight because yeah, unless you get the timing down. So I could use one of my bombs to get there to get to one of these chests, but I'd rather just not. Um, I better go in here and do the boss before I get damaged anymore. I don't know exactly how deals with the devil work. Um, I forgot if it was any damage on the boss or if it was just damage on the floor. If you take damage um, on the boss, I think it is, then you don't get to deal with the devil, but if you don't it's not 100% chance, but, uh... Oh, fuck! Are you serious? I was itching my nose because you were stuck! You are such a bitch! A radioactive spider has appeared in the basement. Oh, boy. Um... But, yeah, I, uh... If you don't get damaged on the boss, on the boss, I think it is, um... You have a higher, you have a way higher chance of getting a deal with the devil, which then you can buy really good items, or at least usually really good items, with um, with um, your with your red hearts, or sometimes blue hearts, which I do have one of. These are called spirit hearts. Um, sorry if you already know about all the. Binding of Isaac stuff. Um, I have to explain. I would, at least I prefer to explain this for people who don't know. Um, but yeah, spirit hearts are temporary hearts that guard your red hearts, which I think can also help you get a deal with the devil. Because I think it's only if you take red heart damage on uh, boss rooms for your deal with the devil. Oh god, I hate this room so much right now. Oh. Okay, well, there's half of our spirit heart gone. That's a little crappy. Um, oh my god! Okay. And pills. Pills are give you a, a random effect. You don't know what they are. And this, in this case, it gave me an entire fucking heart case gone. That really sucks. Oh, shit. This room sucks.
Well, Spirit Heart's gone. Oh, and there's also a tinted rock right here. You can see this one right here I'm standing under, or above. Um, it has a little X and it's blue, which then gave me two tin uh, Spirit Hearts. So now I'm a little less salty about losing my other Spirit Heart, but um, I'm still really pissed about losing my uh, my heart casing. That's really ridiculous to, for uh, a pill. I could have spent that on a deal with the devil or something. And I, did I just seriously just get the same trashy room again? Bazoinga. But this one, the only difference between this one and the last one was that, well, there's two actually, there's actually two differences. One that I actually kind of knew what I was doing this time, and the other one is that there was no tinted rock. Dis a fucking pointed, Egypt. Oh, that's a special enemy. Um, so sometimes you run into these enemies that are like pretty much just like the normal enemies, except for they have something special about them. I don't know what green means. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Um, like I know there's one thing that allows you to that drops an item, which apparently green guys might. It's either that they drop. It's not necessarily an item, but um, they might drop, I don't know, something. In this case, they might. It's possible they drop something, or maybe they only drop chests. I'm not sure. Anyway, got a bunch of pennies, and telepills took me back one room. That was not particularly useful at all. And taking care of these flies, and... Use a key for the item room, and that is Kamikaze. Um, I actually know what it is, um, and I'm going to pick it up just to have it on the item list, but I'm definitely not going to use it. Um, I've never used it, but I'm pretty sure it takes away, you know, it just creates an explosion on yourself and hurts you, so it does exactly what it's called, Kamikaze. Anyway, let's get out of here. Actually, one thing that we can do is try and search for the secret room, which happens in usually places that look like this. If you look, follow my pointer here, if you look on the map here in these areas, usually if it's surrounded by, they're usually the rooms surrounded by the most uh, other rooms, you know? I don't, I don't know how to explain it well, but it'd most likely be here, see? And it is. So let's go in and see what it is. It's a slot machine. I don't particularly want to play the slot machine, gonna be honest. I was hoping for something better, but um no such luck. Um let's go over here and bomb this open, see what we get out of this chest. Probably just more supplies. Eh, not complaining. But yeah, I love this I love the soundtrack, at least for this first um Oh my god! <laughs> Fatality! I love the, uh... Oh my god. I love the sound- I love the song for that, uh, for the- for the basement. Shit, that is so close. I don't like these guys at all. They just suck so bad! I much prefer the Gishlings that, uh, spew them in- like, uh, oh, these guys are, are sometimes really annoying to deal with. As you can see, um, yeah, let me, I'll show you. See, they regenerate after you knock them down. So then you have to kill them even after you knock them down. They are, and then they regenerate pretty fucking fast, if, to be honest. Um, I don't want to pick up that full heart because I only have a half heart down. So it's kind of a waste. Alright, so these silkworms are different because they don't have the big maws, so they won't charge you. They just kind of wander around aimlessly and wait for wait to die. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to predict these guys' movement. I want to I stay away from them because I don't know how they'll move. So I don't want to get hit by them because that's even stupider than... Yeah, pride is really annoying because... He does all this freaking. He does the troll. Oh, fuck! He does the troll bombs and shit. 
Believe it or not, I've actually gotten the, uh, I accidentally got the Basement Boy, uh, achievement. The High Priestess. Oh, I think I know which one this is. Uh, do I dare do it? I'll do it. Yep. Knew it. So that, that is Mom. That's her foot. And I'm surprised that I actually remembered those. Um, I've, I have remembered every tarot card so far. Granted, it was only two. But, um, that's actually good because I don't really know the tarot cards and it's good for starting a series, you know? I might have to end up, uh, putting on, ooh, this is Pete. Oh god, he's kind of annoying when you don't have any, when you don't have any barriers. Oh, that was close. So yeah, um, a strategy that helps every once in a while, um, as you can see, I'm moving... Oh shit, that was close. I'm itching my nose again. Why is my nose so fucking itchy? Um, oh god. When you move back and forth, you do kind of, like, force a tear forward a bit. Oh my god, this is getting hectic. Um... But yeah, as you can see as well, oh, he has popped out an eyeball, which he's probably going to pop out his other one real quick here. You cannot kill the eyeball, unfortunately. It just blocks and also damages. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting a deal with the devil on this one. Fuck, yep, definitely not. Unless it's really nice to me. But... This game was never nice to me before, so I don't know why I would start now. Probably because I, it's on YouTube, but they don't. It's not on the YouTube yet. Oh my God, that's so hard. Oh my God, it's so scary. Okay. Oh fuck. Okay. God damn. Oh son of a bitch. God damn it! Stop jumping, you freaking imbecile. There we go. He's dead. Oh, I almost just walked in onto the next floor, and I would not want to do that right now. Anyway, let's go out here and then go up to that one um, room that I haven't discovered yet up at the top here. Now, going and exploring the rooms after you've already cleared the boss. Oh, fuck off. It's a double-edged sword. Um... Mainly because you can take more damage, like I already have, but you can also discover more items, especially that I haven't discovered the item room yet, on this floor at least. <sighs> maybe hoping for a better, um, maybe hoping for a better, um, whatchamacallit, space bar item than kamikaze, because kamikaze is a little, uh, you know, on the trashier side. Um, there's also a spirit heart here, but I'll come back for it rather save it for oh shit this room is gonna suck balls yeah these guys with the eyeballs they're faster so that's an issue Hoo -hoo -hoo. I'd rather take less di I know there's a heart and everything waiting for me but um it just feels good not to take damage uh, definitely doesn't feel good to almost take damage and the Koya bird so these give us spectral tears oh shit it makes it impossible to hit these. Can I? Okay, there we go. It makes it impossible to hit this shit when... I don't know how to hit the fire. But I need to. How the fuck... Um, I'm, I don't really know what spectral tears actually do. Um, I don't remember, but we look fucking terrifying. <laughs> look at him. Um, uh, but yeah, anyway. So we could get that penny with a bomb, but it's not really worth it to be honest. Let's wait to use that uh that, that uh spirit heart. Let's try and save it for the next floor. Um so spectral tears. I think they go through cover. Oh god, not these guys. Oh yeah, these head guys are really aggressive and really annoying. And eh. They're just one of the few banes of, of my existence in this game. Oh, okay. 
like so. Let's get this, and then we'll be full health with this other heart that we're down, that's down here. And on to the next floor. So we're on the caves too. <laughs> um. So I think after oh god, these guys suck. There's a lot of enemies in this game that just suck a lot. Oh my god, and they're so strong. There's a lot of enemies in this game that are just too strong. And I have a freaking damage up right now, and plus I have like a whole bunch of stats like upgraded right now because of that magic mushroom from before. And I'm s And it still takes for like a good couple it takes a good couple hits to kill things, so it's a little uh I mean, granted, you can't make things too pow- you can't make your- you can't make the player too powerful. Oh, this is like one of the worst rooms ever. Yeah, so, these guys, um, you can't hit them while they're down like that. You have to wait until they're gonna shoot at you. But that red one was special because you can damage him while he's down. I don't... What the fu... Why are you taking so long, you absolute asshole? Are you serious? I can't... Oh, We need a bomb there. Nah, when you use a bomb on them while they're down like that, I think you stun them. Um... Yeah, this is a better use of my bombs than... I'll use them for a lot of things. My guy, can you hurry up? Any day now. This room is taking absolutely fucking for. Oh, okay. Well then. Alright, so it takes four hits to kill. Come on, my guy. Ha ha! You thought you could get me, but you cannot! Nope. Okay. And we're good. <laughs> Alright, so... That guy... Is a special little man. Um... If you give him a enough... He will drop... Either a key chest, I think? Or an item. Um, it's random chance. At least I'm pretty sure. I know he drops items. I'm not sure if he drops the chests. Um, you may be wondering why I was doing it back here instead of right up against it. Because if I was doing it right up against it, there's a possibility that I would have blew him up. Let's feed him. Alright, he dropped a key for me. But if I feed him more money, he could drop an item. Ooh, there it is. I think that's Steam Sale. Yep. So you get 50%. You get 50% off of the. Uh... Oh shit. You get 50% off of all shops. And there are some useful items that can possibly happen in there, but you do have to use a key for them. And um... yeah. Um... Okay, that was took a little bit of concentration. Um, that's Lust. So the thing about Lust is he's. I don't know if it's a he or she, this thing is pretty easy just as long as you take these corners properly. It will speed up over time if it goes in one direction. At least that's an observation that I have. Um, I'm not sure if that's 100% true, but it's pretty. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh my lord! Okay, that didn't work out right. So, one thing to note about these guys is that even though they are annoying and they regenerate fast, um, the more you take them down, the less health they have when they're up. Um, 
it's I'm I don't know exactly how like the uh, thing works um I don't know what the uh, ratio is for it or whatever but um, yeah it's just something to note when you're doing it and you can use it to your advantage if it would help um, we do not have enough money to justify going to the shop even with steam sale um, normally items caught the like special item in there the good item cost 15 pennies but um, we do have steam sale which means that it would probably cost seven fuck off now we're back to normal speed I'm thinking that we're not gonna do pills unless we have uh, this other item that I know of called PhD so I just spent two bombs to get one extra bomb overall positive so I don't I don't know how the damage works with spectral tears I don't even know what spectral oh yeah I remember now spectral tears go through cover yeah okay because there's these other ones I forgot what they're actually called oh my god they're all fast there's no point in teleporting out of this room because I'm going to have to deal with it at some point. Well, I don't necessarily have to, but if I want my room, then I'm going to have to. There's also a green guy, which means that he's probably going to drop something. At least once we kill him. Oh my god. He dropped a penny. Sweet. And we actually managed to take that room out without any, without taking any damage. And we got Mini Mush. This is where I was expecting the first one to be. The first mushroom. So this one is a speed up and plus range as well. And it makes us smaller. Oh god, that was scary. And I can't do anything to get that key yet. Ooh, the boss is here. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even... I f didn't know that we didn't have the boss yet. Let's go in. Grrr... Oh, I, I should... I need to freaking... I need to read the names, because I don't... I haven't played this game in a long time. I used to know these, these guys before I even started playing, because, uh... I used to watch Northern Lions, uh... Binding of Isaac videos. And don't even say have you watched all of them or anything like that because there's fucking absolutely but there's absolutely a million of them. Uh it may not be a million, but it's at least fuck it's at least five thousand. Like not even joking. Um could be closer to ten thousand, especially now, if you include all the other games. There I know there's at least two thousand original binding of Isaac videos. Um But yeah, including the other Binding of Isaac versions of Binding of Isaac, there's so many more. And also, quote unquote, uh, spin off series. With like, uh. We got the Spelunker item has appeared. Ooh, and we got the Pentagram, which does more damage. Ooh, now we're looking, uh. Ooh. Are we the mascot for Isis now? I'm just gonna leave you with that one. Alright. Are we on the depths or are we on... Alright, we're on the depths, but... Are we on the mom fight or... Oh god, these guys... Yeah, these guys suck even more than just the heads because they can do this shit. And then there's a chance that you don't... There's one of two... There's... A... Ah! There's one of two options that happen here. Either they leave their body or the head, which they're more inclined to leave the head, of course. Okay. I don't know if we're ever going to use these telepills, because there's never a really good... There's never actually a good time to use them. Fuck! That was just bad damn... Fuck off. Alright, I don't know what these black guys do. Oh, they must drop... I think they ex exclusively drop bombs, if I... I have played this game a good bit before, but I was never very good at it, as I've explained before. And also these videos are going to be probably a lot, a much longer than 
I've been trying to make videos shorter, but these Binding of Isaac runs, I'm gonna leave going. I'm gonna do the entire run throughout one video. Oh my god, this is spoopy! So, you could use these these spikes to your advantage. Like, see that guy, those two died on the spikes. Um, but it's not guaranteed that it'll actually work, of course. But what is, you know? All right, half heart, I'll take it. Can use some more health anytime. Ooh, this is, oh! God damn it, I still got hurt. And it was on the freaking regular guys, not even these fucking blood spitting ones. I want this fire out of the way right away! That was close. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm gonna use their cover against them because we have spectral tears. Um, then that's a, the shop. I do want to check out the shop. If I could, please, thank you. Um, I do want to check out the shop because pot one, we do have a good little bit of change here and, uh, we might never have another chance. So, at least not for this run. Oh, you're really gonna do me like that game? Fuck off. Fuck you. D bro, you're too close. That sucked. So much dick. I am a little cheesed about that. Great, now we have more change. I don't even know if I'll be able to use them. And also, I am... It was not worth all the health that I lost. I only got... I got, like, six more pennies, but that was not worth the health that I lost. We may end up having to freaking use a key on that, uh... That key block down there to get that, uh, spectral heart. Or, uh, not spectral heart. Spirit Heart. That is what they're called. Taking out these fires caught freaking require more focus than fucking fighting a boss. There we go. So we have 20 coins, yippee, and no shop to spend it on. Oh, for Christ's sake, give me a hot fucking break, my guy. There's no physical cover for us, only... Hits. We're down to our last heart. Of course, we're gonna make probably gonna make it to mom, but we're only gonna have like a heart or two. Oh fuck off! We're actually gonna die right here. Using telepills. Oh, we got I am error. Sweet. And the hourglass is actually really good, um, especially compared to health down. Yeah, no thanks. Don't kill me. Oh, we got a full health pill. Let's go. Pretty fly. And then it spawns a little fly around us. And speed down. How about you fuck right off? Suck a fart. Okay. And we got another pretty fly. Um, and then those two are telepills, but there is a full health pill right here. So I'm going to take that with me. And we're going to go down a floor. And so we're on the mom fight now. And mom kicks him away. And that's why we're gonna fucking kill her. Anyway. So we're probably gonna pop, have to end up popping this pill. Hopefully I'll get, I won't have to pop it before the fight. Hopefully I'll be able to pop it during the fight. That would be the most optimal time for it. At least hypothetically. Oh, it's not looking good for us though. Look, I already hate these regular silkworms, but then you make him much 
fucking bigger and then spawn multiple small ones. It sucks. He can kill his own children if you get him to, but it's not the easiest thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm trapped. Oh, man. Just kill him, please. Finish him! Oh. All right. Oh, fuck off. This room isn't the worst, but definitely sucks a lot. Sometimes these black flies are even more of a danger than the red flies because you never know where they're going to go or when they're going to attack. Sometimes you can't even hit them. I'm not even going to worry about that poop right now. Ooh, these little ghost babies, they can teleport away, so I want to kill them as fast as possible. God, maybe it's after so many shots. I guess not, because they've shot definitely a lot more than the first time. Oh my fucking Christ. Yeah, this is why I don't like the first Binding of Isaac, is because a lot of the enemies get repetitive, and a lot of them are really annoying. It's not even, like, about them being, like, super hard. It's just about them being, like, annoying and strong when it doesn't feel like they should be so strong, at least in certain situations. And telepills? Uh, yeah, no. I'd rather not right now. If you'd please, thank you. Okay, um, yeah, those little statues will shoot at us and we cannot kill them until they will deactivate once... The floor is ended. Ah, oh, there we go. And that that flashing red stuff that is called creep, um, from my knowledge. Um, if you walk over it, it will damage you. And we might as well. Oh, I don't know if there's an item room on this floor. Oh. I was thinking that maybe we could grab telepills. And then if we get in, in a bad situation, we use them, but they could just teleport us into the mom fight. We do have a shop over there. Let's go and at least visit that. Even if there's not, we don't, we're not gonna search for the item room, but we are gonna go to the shop. I'm just gonna use a bomb on this to speed this process up. Well. Um. I guess let's buy the bomb and then buy Mr. Boom. Or it's just, it's just Boom. Alright, well, this is our character for this run, apparently. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ma Isaac versus Mom. Shit. Fuck off. Still didn't get hit by it, luckily. Nice. Yeah, mom will oftentimes end up hurting the little guys that she spawns. Um, looking for an opportune time to use a bomb, but I'm not very good. I'm not that good at this game yet. <sighs> ah! It's okay. I have a pill. I just fuck you. I have to remember to use it. One thing that I did not explain is that the story of this game is that Isaac and his mother lived in a house and then she heard she heard God apparently they're both they were both very religious um that's why there's a lot of religious references in this game and uh yeah um oh ending strong for him but 
just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. <laughs> Dun dun dun! Alright, so there's these credits that play, but it. You you go through these a lot, um. But I don't think I can skip it, so, um. Anyway, so, um, yeah, the story before that is, um. God told her to, um. God told her to kill, kill her son and purge him of, her, of all sin. So yeah, that's basically why she's trying to kill him. Um, but then the Holy Bible fell on top of her head and killed her. <laughs> I like how her leg just doesn't even fit on the page. I do love the freaking soundtrack for this. You've unlocked the womb. You've unlocked the, the what the, what was that? A uh, cube of meat has appeared in the basement. All right. So that is our first episode of The Binding of Isaac. In the next episode, things are about to get a whole lot more interesting. But for now, I'm going to say a bye bye I fucking... Damn it.